Right, so I'm back in the world of Fallout 4 with another gameplay video. So yeah, it's been a while since I actually made one of these, but uh, I've been sort of busy trying out the quest mods. There's been a few that have been pretty decent, you know, I've been having fun with that, then we had the Nuka World thing, but uh, I had an actual good idea for a gameplay video, which is this right here. I'm gonna call it the Zombie Apocalypse, so it involves the Endless Warfare spawn controller, which has a uh, Feral Ghoul preset, which just means there's a shit ton of ghouls everywhere, and then just a bunch of lighting mods that are really cool, and also, of course, True Storms, which is just an amazing weather mod. And all of those things combined, I think, make for a pretty creepy and interesting Zombie Apocalypse experience. So we're gonna go out there, I got this double barrel shotgun and this ranger desert outfit. So I look pretty cool. I do not want to build. And uh, I guess I'm semi well equipped. I mean, we got some other weapons as well, but I really think the double barrel shotgun is just fitting for the zombie apocalypse. So we're gonna go out there and we're gonna go shoot some ghouls. And uh, hopefully, I'll just have a good time. See, the reason why it's so dark is uh, because of the Darker Nights mod. I turned it on to the darkest setting. Fortunately, we do have this flashlight right here, so uh, we should actually be good on the lighting. It's just a tad bit more creepy. And then, of course, we got True Storms. Every time, I just gotta reiterate how freaking cool True Storms is. It's probably my most favorite mod out there. It's just so freaking immersive. It's like, man, an actual thunderstorm. It's like I'm at home, back in Europe, where it just rains every day, pretty much. But, uh, anyways, we're gonna go enter Concord right here. There should be some ghouls around somewhere. Nobody see ghouls. So we're gonna go sneak up on the ghouls. Now, I am playing on very hard right now, though, so, uh, it's not gonna be stim pack spammable. It might form a challenge. Now, the thing about the ghouls in this game is that they got that... Very fast running animation right there. They just sort of throw themselves at you. If they uh, show up in larger hordes though, I might be fucked. In which case, I have to think of alternatives. I still got some grenades as well, so... Uh, we, we got some alternatives. I think I can make it work. I think that's a raider right there. Very peculiar. Alright, just hold on. Eh, he's pretty dead as well. So overall, we're, uh, we're doing pretty well so far. But I've also enabled a setting on that Endless Warfare spawn thingy majigger that uh, I think increases the headshot damage. So we're going for headshots here. We're going old school ghoul zombies today, I suppose. Alright, well, overall, the apocalypse is still very much manageable. There's some more ghouls over there, though. So far, no hordes. Alright. Just gotta get that one. Yeah, I think I can live through the night. We can make this. I suppose I could set up a ghoul, maybe like try and maneuver my way across the map without dying. I'm assuming that downtown might be a tad bit more dangerous. There is a bunch of spawns there. I think this mod does work off of spawns, so if there is a bunch of downtown spawns, then that might become dangerous. We're gonna use the landscape in our favor, because I know there is some stairs right here, because I've been here before. But I do remember there being a bunch of ghouls right here. Just uh, a shit ton of ghouls, actually. This is almost like a proper horde. Holy shit. Now we gotta defend this shitty office right here. It's got blood on the floor. Not yet. I think I got this, man. We can definitely just make this work. Just kite the zombies. If Call of Duty has taught me anything, it's how to kite zombies. There's a mill towers right there. 
or a pro min rather. That's very immersive right there. It appears the Broman disappeared. And I suppose we could go a tad bit south, make a downtown trip here, investigate some things, maybe go to the castle. I have no idea what Preston is up to these days. He might be back at the castle. Honestly, I haven't spoken to him in quite some time. He's been ignoring me. You know, we had that whole breakup thing. He wasn't happy. I mean, I was never happy with him. Oh dear. That might be it. Tend to bring out the clock here. It is definitely starting to feel like clock time. When in doubt, bring out the clock. surplus of ammo anyway. I got way too much ammo for this thing apparently. Just got a really big backpack. Okay, this is a tad bit more manageable. Zombie candy skills do seem to work, so all that time wasted playing Call of Duty wasn't entirely wasted. And it appears we got some raiders. I think something went horribly wrong there. Uh, whatever. We're gonna still move south. Alright, well, so far downtown is still manageable. The only thing though is that I'm too fat to fit through this. Man, what a what a shame. Man, it's more well broman running through. It appears the ghouls are attacking a well broman. They are running away with their magnificent hooves and gigantic balls. Man. I gotta say, this thing just works a tad bit better than the uh, double barrel, but it doesn't quite have the style. Also, shit is exploding right there. Alright, let's investigate. Okay, gotta be very holy shit. Oh god. This is definitely a tad bit more deadly than the. Uh, Just a tiny bit more. Unfortunately, I think it's being attacked by ghouls right now. I don't really think the ghouls are faring too well here, though. Yeah, this might become uh, a tiny bit problematic. We're nearly there. Okay. This is what they call the pillar technique. It's very effective. As you can see, pillars are just good for anything, including shielding you from deadly explosives. So, um, yeah, we're gonna move on. The zombie apocalypse is definitely a tiny bit more lively than I imagined. Alright, well we got ghouls guarding his bridge, so we're gonna go take him out, one by one. Uh, miss? Ah, there we go. Alright, well we're nearly downtown.
You know what, I think I'm gonna make it my goal to get all the way over to the castle. That seems like, uh, like a good goal, you know? The place is pretty defendable. It's got some nice walls, there's still some Preston propaganda there, I do think, but uh, we'll, we'll manage. We'll use that as firewood, I guess. We're gonna go over there. That is going to be our safe haven. Just follow the signs. Right, well, this guy does not appear to be two-faced, but uh, the fact that his arm has been ripped off. Yeah, the Diamond City guards seem to be managing the zombie apocalypse yeah, quite well here. Who's there? Quick TKS 50138 sniper rifle. My god, the children. They resorted to cannibalism. Trying to kill me. For my fat, tender meat. I'm not fat though, but I still could not fit through that opening. I was trying to pick up the, uh, the 38 sniper rifle over there. These ghouls are making it rather difficult. Somewhere just over here. There's too many bodies around. Uh, this one. I'm gonna use this one for a bit. This is pretty cool. It's the DKS 501, but it's in 38 caliber. Which shouldn't really matter too much because we're going for headshots anyway, so. Should be quite okay. Still gonna go a bit east, we're about halfway there from uh, downtown. I'm gonna pop some rat away here. But, you know, if you keep finding ghouls, you do build up the rats uh, very slowly, so you gotta make sure that you trim out that extra radiation. Hmm. Let me throw one of these, and then we'll just throw one of these, and then. We'll try and shoot that one. If I can make it though, holy shit, that is a fair amount of zombies right there. Unfortunately, this thing can fire somewhat rapidly, but uh, I'm still too inaccurate, so this is actually problematic right here. Uh, let me see about this. We're gonna go up here. And apparently they're too dumb to follow me. And it was a close call right there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, apparently this place isn't happening. And there's zombies down there. This is, uh, this is slightly problematic. Just hold on, Ruby. Alright. Uh, we're gonna, okay. Man, that was, uh, that was a close call right there. You always gotta check your corners, but we'll let, uh, Ruby, Rudy, whatever the fuck that guy's name was, we'll let him sort out the, uh, zombies. Okay, I think we're pretty close to the castle right now. Yeah, cause that thing right there is always an eyesore when I'm at my castle. Well, that and the prison propaganda, but uh, that could be torn down. That thing getting that down is uh, a tad bit more difficult. And I think it's nearly a home stretch. Let's get to navigate this very spooky shipyard. Dude. I think that was a collateral right there. The Call of Duty days are definitely paying off here. I've been trained and seasoned. Right, just hold on. Just, uh, just hold on. There we go. I really didn't do as much damage as I uh, thought. At least it slowed them down, I guess. Let's go in for the beatdown. Yeah, this is definitely starting to look familiar. Let's see how the castle is holding up here. I mean, I got a very defendable tower right there. Gotta make sure we get rid of these seagulls right here. I might think the zombies are a pest, but those seagulls are definitely just worse. But uh, I think this was it right here, so let's see how the castle's holding up.
My uh, front gate system is seemingly destroyed. And uh, let's see about the Priston propaganda. That seems to be gone as well. Very interesting. I guess that problem took care of itself right there. So castle's uh, pretty clean right now. It seems like my bartender is still hard at work, scrubbing. You're not really making too much progress here. It still looks like absolute shit. You should definitely work harder. That is that naggy bot right there, I think. Hi. You look like someone who needs a drink. Yeah, tell me about it. Hey, right, well, I gotta say it was quite the adventure right there. As I said, it was quite the adventure, but we uh, survived the night, we survived the storm, the beautiful true storm storm, we survived it, the zombies were uh, not too difficult to deal with, we had one close call right there, but I managed to pull through by quick wittedness, and uh, we lived, so uh, that was another episode of gameplay, or shooting shit, whichever title you prefer I suppose, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode.